Hey guys, and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So I thought we'd have a look at uh, one of the newer sets that have uh, recently been released from the Mint, and that is a commemorative three-coin set uh, featuring the poetry of Banjo Patterson. So Banjo Patterson was uh, an Australian poet author uh, who died in 1940-something, uh, just say on the back here. Uh, 1941, so it lived from 1864 through to 1941, and I'm sure as Australians we know a lot of his poetry, and uh, certainly uh, we know of the man from Snow River, and uh, certainly most of us have probably seen the movie. And uh, what I wanted to do was have a look at the uh, the packaging a little bit closer, talk about the price and uh, mintages, and have a close up look at the actual coin so I was quite impressed uh, with this packaging when I uh, when I received it it's um, it's cardboard and uh, it's uh, nicely folded and presented and there's some artwork internally as well and uh, I figured we'd have a look at it it's uh, written in in the old sort of style the whole the whole way that the packaging is put together is uh, similar to opening up a, a letter in some ways so as you can see they've got a pen and an inkwell I'm pretty sure that is and uh, then some script writing of uh, Clancy of the Overflow uh, what do we got up here we've got Walsing Matilda as well so I don't think no that's all we've got so yeah that's the way it opens up and then the coins go back in the middle again and, and closes up nicely so yeah very nice um, packaging and uh, let's talk about uh, price so this was released uh, Monday a week ago so around the start of August I think it was the third and it was listed on well with most of the uh, sellers as well as on the royal australian mint site for fifty dollars now the mintage and we'll have a look at the mintage on the back of this straight up and it says here that there is twenty thousand of each coin okay so basically what the mint did was put these three coins out that you're able to buy them as individual coins or for $20 each or you could buy it as the set for uh, for $50 so there was a little bit of a saving there if you're able to get it as a set the only downside was is that uh, they only made 20,000 of these and technically 10,000 of those 20,000 went into this particular folder so the, the three coin set and then 10,000 of each coin were available for individual sale so it was uh, very you had to get in quite quick I think really by maybe sort of lunchtime and I, I think the mint released them at 7 a.m. and uh, they were sold by about lunchtime so um, I think a few more might have come on board later on of the individual cards but they sold it very quickly so when things tend to sell out quickly that means that the price and the the after sales market uh, the reseller market uh, tends to uh, take over and the only way you can really get these uh, is through uh, resellers on the Facebook groups as well as on eBay and probably straight away the prices were sitting up around the hundred dollars very very quickly and then they've uh, come down probably about ten dollars or so uh, since in the past sort of week they're probably sitting around that ninety dollar mark the individual coins have been selling for around thirty dollars each so those coins really yes you want the coins you want to try and get this as a full set but uh, if the only way that uh, if you really really do want them and we'll have a closer look at them and uh, it might be worth checking out some of the some of the sales Facebook um, sites or have a look on eBay so let's have a look 
at the coins a little bit closer. Now these are beautifully designed. So we've got the three here. We've got Clancy of the Overflow, Waltzing Matilda, and the Man from Snowy River. So I'll have a look at Clancy of the Overflow. And uh, I think I'll zoom in on that coin. And you will notice the amount of detail that has been put into the design of this coin. Um, one thing I should mention as well is that these coins are made from aluminium brass and that's why they've got that brass tone of tone on them and uh, I think it's uh, it's quite a special coin I think I I did talk a little bit about this on one of my videos recently uh, when these were going to be released or just released something like that but um, I think I found it was before yeah, it was beforehand because I didn't exactly know what they were going to look like at the time. But the, uh, I think it was a 2003, maybe it was the only other 50 cent coin that I could find. And it's probably the case, uh, was the only other one made in this style. So the aluminium brass look. So it says it on the bottom here as well. And uh, tells you all the specifications on it. But there it is, the ALBR. All right, so let's have a closer look at that again. So clearly it's got Clancy of the Overflow. And uh, a lot of Australiana, early Australiana uh, going on there. You can see the tram. And uh, there'd be a, a jackaroo and his dog. And uh, herding sheep. I think they're sheep. Might be cattle. And... Uh, that may, I'm not even sure, maybe that, I'm not sure who, maybe that's, maybe that is Banjo there. It looks like uh, a depiction of him there. Certainly when you look at the uh, the photo on the front of the packaging, it, it probably is him there. But uh, absolutely beautiful, the way that the light shines off these coins with that sort of proof look about them it's uh it's a beautiful design so the next one is waltzing matilda we'll have a look at waltzing matilda the australian bush is depicted there and then we've got a uh a jackaroo with his swag um it doesn't look like he's waiting for his billy to boil but uh i can't see a billy there but uh there's some more cattlemen in the background and uh, some sheep up the top there uh, taking a drink so once again just beautifully framed by this tree uh, a nice gum tree and then the uh, design on the actual on the actual packaging is uh, pretty much the same as what we're seeing on the actual coin so very well tied in the packaging they've uh, i've been very impressed with the way that the uh, mint have been uh, putting together their packaging of recent uh, someone's certainly been putting some uh, good work into it and um and tying it all together really well all right the last one is the man from snow river and uh i always think of that iconic scene in the movie the man from snow river where uh tom berlinson who, who played that 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 character there uh all of a sudden just went down that mountain and uh yeah iconic scene and one i'm sure we've uh we all know of and uh there it is there on the coin as well cracking the whip and you can also see uh, him chasing the uh, the Brumbies and uh, trying to uh, uh, re um, recapture them. So it's it's a really beautiful coin. I hope you guys really like to look at these particular coins and look at the detail. And if you zoomed in even further, I can I can see some stuff in the background, uh, a windmill in the background, maybe some sheep as well. So there's a lot going on on these coins. So 
absolutely beautiful and there is the JC effigy for 2020 so uh, looking quite good in the bronze as well so that is it guys that's um that's those three coins now uh, I picked these up from uh, from cockatoo coins and uh, let me just say he packaged these up so well I was so impressed with the way that he packaged them up and uh, so I just want to give a, a shout out out to Cockatoo Coins because uh, I really did appreciate the way that they were wrapped up, protected and uh, there was also a, uh, a Caramello Koala in the uh, in the packaging as well so uh, thanks very much Jeffrey for uh, getting these over to me so quickly, really appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at uh, the Banjo Patterson set. And uh, if you were successful in getting yourself uh, a set, well done. But uh, look, if you really do want to grab yourself a set, it's hard to know whether the price is going to come back anymore. You might just have to pay the dollars. But uh, absolutely a, uh, a lovely set of commemorative 50 cent coins that uh, is extremely Australian. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.